Virad Destroyer, the most powerful Harley Davidson ever sold. When it comes time to twist the grip, we all have guilty pleasures for our two-wheeled tenacity. Whether it's hitting the trails, cruising the back roads, or even barreling down the center line at the high end of sixth gear, all motorcycles are built with purpose. Sometimes, that purpose is just more savage and raw than virtually anything else with two wheels, as well as most things with four. Whether you love or hate the Harley-Davidson Virod, or the entirety of the brand, one of these bikes in particular absolutely demanded the respect of riders worldwide when it was first unleashed to the world in 2006. For the sake of accuracy, the full name of this grizzly machine is the Harley-Davidson Virod Eagle VRXSE Scream and Eagle a Destroyer, which is aptly titled for its innate tendency to absolutely shatter the quarter mile, delivering 9-second ETs straight off the showroom floor. While the idea of a race-prepped motorcycle delivered straight from the factory to a track of your choice isn't necessarily a new concept, especially with road racing superbikes and a slew of motocross jobs, the path of a factory-offered drag racer is seldom traveled. First launched in 2002, the Harley-Davidson VRSCA Virod proved to be one of the most innovative cruisers that the brand had ever conceived. Based upon a new, radicalized chassis design, the Virod aimed to take Harley into the 21st century using a distinct contrast of both innovation and tradition. Its radicalized chassis design was unlike anything that Harley-Davidson had ever concocted prior to which. In fact, aside from a handful of oddballs like the Honda CBX 1000, very few cruiser bikes have come to fruition with such a cavalier attitude towards the tractional aspects that make these types of motorcycles desirable to the types of riders who flock to them. For starters, the Virod was initially equipped with Harley's Revolution V-Twin, which can trace its roots to the ill-fated VR 1000 Superbike, although the version featured in the Virod itself had been heavily engineered by none other than Porsche, along with a handful of Harley's own crew members. This wasn't the first time that Harley had collaborated with Porsche for engine work, as during their AMF years of the 1970s, Harley collaborated with the Stuttgart giant to develop the V4 Nova, which was intended to be water-cooled, like the Virod and also aimed to offer four- and six-cylinder units before Harley ultimately pulled the plug in favor of putting their resources into the Evolution engine. Back to the VRXSE Destroyer, these bikes utilized the 1,130 cubic centimeters unit developed by Porsche, although Harley-Davidson's own crew would consequently modify them further via beefier cams, a larger bore and stroke, forged pistons to handle added stress, as well as velocity stacks to help the bike inhale as it good as it exhaled. The end result was an output of 165 horses, which might not sound terribly impressive today, but was utterly world-shattering for 2006, when the destroyer was first unleashed. 